Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks Lesson Inventory Tracking Finished Goods. Now QuickBooks in the versions of Premier, the Accountant, and Enterprise versions of QuickBooks, they allow you to track the building and sale of finished goods using assembly items. This is only available again in the Premier, the Accountant, and Enterprise versions of QuickBooks. If you're using Pro or Lower, it's not going to uh, give you this, this feature. But if you are, continue on with this lesson. This is very valuable. In QuickBooks, uh, the inventory assembly items actually allow you to create an item and it, that it contains assembled material units, finished goods, that you buy or produce and track as inventory and resell. So you can keep track of how many items that remain in stock after sale and how many items you have on order. Your cost of your, uh, your cost of goods sold and the value of your inventory you can keep track of. Note that the inventory assembly items in QuickBooks are appropriate for indicating light assembly items on a sales forms and in reports. But QuickBooks does not track inventory throughout a manufacturing process. That's a little more detailed. You may want to look at a different type or heavier type of uh, uh, system to track your manufacturing process. But for smaller type of items, you can certainly utilize it uh, that, that contains smaller amounts of, of assembly items. You must have QuickBooks again, the, the, the accountant, premier, or enterprise versions to utilize the assembly and building of uh, assembly items there. Um, now the question really is whether we use group items or inventory assets. What's a group item and what is a inventory asset to creating those? So group items are actually useful for quickly entering a group of individual items that you've already set up as a single item in your list that you typically sell as a package. For instance, uh, lumber, you might have a, a a construction company that remodels houses could sell and set up a group item that lists the significant components of a remodeling job. For instance, labor, lumber, um, markup, etc. So there might be a, a group of items that they just put in as, as a remodeling job. Uh, sales reports for the company would then actually show income broken down by each of those components instead of the single lump sum for all the modeling jobs. So it, it, it's kind of a quick way to lump in a job and lump in some of those items that are typically sold. If you need to track a lot of detail about your items but also want to give your customers simple and uncluttered invoices, you can group and use group items to do both. So you can show them that uh, when you invoice them it'll just give a group item that includes the lumber and the labor and the, and the materials part of that uh, single item on, on an invoice. Um, group items also give you a way to enter a great amount of line item detail quickly. So you can actually pull in a, a group item and it'll already pull in all the components that you need that you typically would, would bill to the customer for that. Now using inventory assembly